Hello, thank you for joining me. So what I'd like to show you in this video is kind of uh, the next couple steps of all regarding putting together a Revit project. What we're going to be modeling this time is going to be a small apartment or a portion of an apartment, just a single unit in an apartment building. And it's going to consist of the three exterior walls and uh, various interior walls that we drew in a similar manner, uh, drafted in a similar manner last week in AutoCAD. So we're going to borrow that same model and actually reproduce it here in some respects. I'm not going to show you everything because some of this will be on your uh, in-class evaluation for tomorrow. But I can show you enough to get started. And uh, one thing I'd really like to focus on is dimensioning because dimensioning is really kind of tricky. It's kind of tricky in Revit architecture. But uh, once you go through some of the steps like we did in AutoCAD and steps in getting drawings set up and getting our title block all squared away and the viewport squared and scaled and stuff like that, it's kind of like the same sort of thing. You kind of put a dimension in there, you put a wall in there, and you uh, go to the, the, the temporary dimensions, establish a permanent dimension, move the dimension around, click on the wall again, and then change the dimension value to the one you want. And if you go through those three or four steps involved, making changes to dimensions are actually is pretty easy. But if you don't know the steps, you're never going to be able to do it. So I like to kind of emphasize that with these videos. So one thing we want to do with this uh, apartment is uh, get... Uh, the two walls that we created, your custom wall, go ahead and borrow that, and then uh, grab um, you know, the interior wall that we did in the defining wall structure uh, lesson we did uh, just prior to tomorrow's uh, evaluation. Let's go ahead and go to, the, go to that file. If you don't have that file open in Revit Architecture, uh, go ahead and open it up. And since I have it open and it's in the background, I'm going to press the Control key and the Tab key and actually toggle to that other drawing. I'm going to borrow that. So it's this one. I believe it's this one. Now that's my STC60 wall. It looks like I spelled that wrong. It should be STC, not SCT. And what that means is Sound Transmission Class 60 instead of Sound Class Transmission 60. So anyways, anyways, we're going to borrow this wall, and I believe this is my exterior wall. We're going to go ahead and borrow that, borrow those two. So the way you borrow or copy two things in, uh, in Revit architecture or pretty much any Windows-based design program like this, whether it's AutoCAD or Revit or SolidWorks, is you press the control key allows you to select multiple elements. And uh, we know these elements are selected because they've turned blue. And they typically turn blue when they've been selected. So once you have those two, we're going to do a control C. And then control tab allow us to toggle back to that or the other program and do a control V. And all you have to do is just drop it into place. So you notice there's a couple of different things going on here. There's a box that's following my cursor. And there's another box that actually shows where the, where the walls are. I kind of ignore this for now. If we do nothing but press this, uh, the enter key, it'll just drop it in place right there. Or we have control over where we want to drop it. What I want to do is kind of drop it up uh, uh, in the corner up here. And you'll notice it just kind of drops it into place up there. Once it's dropped up here, we don't really need to keep these around anymore. Because if we go to the 3D view, it's going to show it off in the background. And we're not going to really build around that. And eventually it's just going to get in the way. So as long as we remember it, that it's there... We're going to go ahead and delete it, and when I say it's there, it's really embedded into the into our file here, and we can access that. It's going to be on our, our, our library. So if you go to the wall button, and I'll just show you where it's at, we have an internal and external wall. So my exterior wall is going to be the 7, uh, seven and 8 inch clappered siding wood stud drywall wall. And then the other one I import is the 4 and a half inch wall. And if you just scroll down, you'll see the interior 4 and a half inch drywall wood stud dash drywall wall. Okay, I think it's enough for this video. Let's go ahead and uh, turn this off and join me for the next one.